Hi, I'm April Rose C. Udtuhan, BSCE 1A, and I will present to you five problems with solutions with the topics the distance, midpoint, and point of division formula, the general equation of a straight line, and the definition and equation of a circle. Number one, for the triangle with vertices x, 1, and negative 2, y, 7, 4, and z, 8, negative 7, find the equation of the median from vertex y. So to solve, it is advisable to plot the points first. We will just use estimation to illustrate the problem. So let x be here, 1 and negative 2, y, 7, 4, and z, which is 8 and negative 7. In this problem, we need to get the equation of the median from vertex y. So we need to get the equation of this line from this point to the midpoint of this line, which is here. To find the midpoint of the opposite sides, opposite side of y, which is the x, we follow the formula. m is equal to x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. So, it will be our x1 is 1 plus 8 over 2 and negative 2 plus negative 7 over 2. So, 1 plus 8 is 9 over 2, 4.5. And negative 2 plus negative 7 is negative 9 over 2, negative 4.5. And this is our midpoint. So, we will put it here. Four point five and negative four point five. So now we write the equation of the median from vertex with vertex y seven and negative four and midpoint four point five and negative four point five using the standard equation, which is the y is equals to m x plus b but we need to find the slope first to find the slope we follow the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 our y2 will be negative 4.5 minus y1 4 and x2 4.5 minus 7 so it is negative 8.5 over negative 2.5 or 17 over 5 so this is our slope next is we need to find the value of b to find the value of b we will plug in either of these points y or the midpoint so i will use the y y is equals to mx plus b so our y is 4 is equals to slope 17 over 5 x is 7 plus b so 4 is equals to 
7 over 5 times 7 is 23.8 plus B. So, we will transpose 23.8 is equal to B. So, B is equal to negative 19.8 or negative 99 over 5. Since we already have this, the slope and the b, we will now complete the equation. y is equal to mx plus b. So y is equal to slope 17 over 5 x plus b negative 99 over 5. We can simplify this one. Y is equals to 17x minus 99 over 5. Multiply both sides with 5. So 5y is equal to 17x minus 99. Or 17x minus 5y minus 99 is equal to 0. This will be our final answer. Number 2. For a line segment DE, one endpoint is D65 and the midpoint is M42. Find the coordinates of the other endpoint E. So in here, we are given... the D which is the 6, 5 and the midpoint 4 and 2 and we need to find the E in this problem we will use the midpoint formula which is M is equal to x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. And we will plug in the points. The midpoint which is 4, 2 and x1 which is 6 plus x2. So, our x2 will be this one and y2 over 2 and 5 plus y2 over 2. So, we will pull out the x values and the y values separately. So, 4 is equal to 6 plus x2 over 2 and 2 is equal to 5 plus y2 over 2 we will multiply both sides with 2 to cancel this so 8 is equal to 6 plus x2 transpose this 8 minus 6 is equal to x2 x2 is equal to 2. So, this will be our x2. And next is the y. We will also multiply this by 2. Both sides to cancel this. 4 is equal to 5 plus y2. Transpose 5. 4 minus 5 is equal to y2 so our y2 will be negative 1 so therefore the other end point
and point E is 2 and negative 1. And that will be our final answer. Number T. Which of the following lines is the right bisector of the segment joining the points A4, negative 2, and B, negative 4, and negative 2? Is it A, Y is equal to negative 2, B, X is equal to 0, Z, Y is equal to 4X minus 2, and D, Y is equal to X? In this problem, we need first to find the slope of AB. To find the slope of AB, we need the formula M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So it will be negative 2 minus negative 2 over negative 4 minus 4 and it will be negative 2 minus negative 2 is 0 so this will be directly 0 this will be our slope next is we need to get the midpoint of AB with the formula m is equal to x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. This will be four plus negative four over 2 and negative 2 plus negative 2 over 2 4 plus negative 4 is 0 so this will be directly 0 mm. negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4 over 2 will be negative 2 So this is our midpoint. Since we already have the midpoint, we will use the equation y is equal to mx plus b. To solve for B, we will substitute point, the points. So, Y is equal to negative 2 is equal to M, which is 0. But if it's not 0, we will get the negative reciprocal because it is right by sector. So, 0 times X, which is also 0 plus b so our b is negative 2 so the equation will be y is equal to mx plus b y is equal to our m 0 x plus b or can cancel B can cancel this and our B is negative 2 so Y is equal to negative 2 and this will be our final answer so the answer for here is letter A Number 4. What is the shortest distance from the point at 5, negative 3, 
to the line represented by the equation y is equal to 1 half x plus 2. To find the shortest distance between a point, which is 5 and negative 3, and to the line y is equal to 1 half x plus 2, the only thing we really have to do is solve for the line segment perpendicular to the line itself. So, perpendicular of this. This will be our shortest distance. To get the distance between this point and this point, we need to find the equation of this line. Next is solve the point of intersection, or this one. And then, lastly, do the distance formula to solve the distance. So, since the slope of this line is y is equal to 1 half, and this is just perpend and this line is perpendicular to this line, we will just get the negative reciprocal of this slope. So, our slope will be y is equal to negative 2. So, our equation will be y is equal to negative 2x plus b for this one. And for the b, we need to solve the b. To solve the b, we will plug in a point that we know is on the line. And this will be 5 and negative 3. So, negative 3 is equal to negative 2 times 5 plus b. So, negative 3 is equal to negative 10 plus b. Transpose negative 10, negative 3 plus 10 is equal to b. So, b is equal to 7. So, our equation will be y is equal to negative 2x plus to find this point of intersection, we will equate these two equations, this one and this one. So, 1 half x plus 2 is equal to negative 2x plus 7 this one so we will transpose the negative 2x here and the constant here 1 half x plus 2x is equal to 7 minus 2 1 half x plus 2x is 2 and 1 half x or 2.5x 7 minus 2 is 5 Divide both sides by 2.5. So, our x value will be 2. Since we already have the x value, we need to find the y. We will plug in the x value that we solved into either of these two equations. So, I will use this equation. y is equal to negative 2x plus 7. So, y is equal to negative 2 times x which is 2. 2 plus 7. y is equal to negative 4 plus 7. So, our y will be 3. And lastly, since we already have the coordinates of this point, we will now do the distance formula. So, to solve for distance, we have the equation d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So, it will be 
square root of 2 is 1, 2 minus 5 is 1 squared plus the 3 minus negative 3 squared is equal to square root of 2 minus 5 is negative 3 squared plus 3 minus negative 3 is 6 squared equal to 9 plus 36. So our final answer will be 9 plus 36 is 45. So square root of 45. This is our final answer. A bank of lights is arranged over a stage. Each light illuminates a circular area on the stage. A coordinate plane is used to arrange the lights, using the center of stage as the origin. The equation x minus 13 squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to 16 represents one of the disks of light. Three actors are located as follows. Henry is at 11, 4. Jolene is at 8, 5. And Martin is at 15, 5. Which actors are in the disk of light? Graph the disk of light to prove your answer. So, in here, we need first to know the center and radius of the circle. From the given equation, x minus 13 squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to 16. We will rewrite this equation to find the center and radius. From the equation, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Our equation will be x minus 13 squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to 4 squared 16 square root of 16 is 4 so 4 squared so the center is 13 and 4 we write it here center 13 and 4 and our radius will be 4. To know which actors are in the disk of light, we will use the distance formula, which is d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared and since our radius is 4 we will know if the actors are in the disk of light if the distance from the circle is equal or less than 4 so now let's solve their distance Henry is at 11 4 so it will be equal to thirteen minus Henry is at eleven four. Eleven squared plus four minus four squared is equal to thirteen minus eleven is 2. 2 squared is 4 plus 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 squared or 0. So it will be square root of 4 or 2. This will be Henry.
next is we will solve the distance of joule from the center from the same formula we'll have joule is at 8 5 13 minus 8 squared plus 4 minus 5 squared is equal to 13 minus 8 is 5 5 squared plus 4 minus 5 is negative 1 squared is equal to 5 squared is 25 plus 1 or square root of 26. Square root of 36 is equal to 5.1. So this will be the distance. This will be the distance of Jolin from the center of the disk of light. So next we will solve the distance of Martin from the center of the disk of light from the same formula 13 minus martin is located at 15 5 15 squared plus 4 minus 5 squared is equal to 13 minus 5 is negative 2 squared plus 4 minus 5 is negative 1 squared negative 2 squared is 4 plus 1 is equal to square root of 5 square root of 5 is equivalent to 2.24 So, based on our solved distance, Henry and Martin are the actors that are in the disk of light. Since their distance from the center of the disk of light is equal to or less than 4. So, now we will graph the disk of light to prove our answer. So, this will be the origin. It is said that the origin is the center of stage. So, it will be here. And next is we will plot the points. The center is at 13, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this will be the center. Henry is at 11, 4. So, Henry is here. Jolene is at 8, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, Jolene is here. Lastly, Martin is at 15, 5. So now we will make a circle with a radius of 4 to graph. So I will use a protractor to find the 
exact measurement. So, based on our circle, Henry and Martin are in the days of light and Jolene is here. So, she is not included in the actors that in the days of light.